61A, lecture number 26, updates. Revisions to your CATS project composition are due on Thursday. If you lost any composition points and you want to get them back, all you have to do is revise your code by taking into account the suggestions that were made to you, and then you'll earn back your lost composition points. Lab 9 is due Thursday. Homework 6 is due Friday. If you'd like help with either of these, come to office hours. You can make an appointment or join the drop-in queue during drop-in online office hours times, which are listed in the office hours tab. So for the rest of this week, we have drop-in office hours on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The lecture Q&A times are also listed on this office hours tab. We had the first such Q&A session on Monday, and I think it went pretty well. Some people came and asked questions, and now over 500 people have watched the video of me answering those questions, which is certainly the greatest office hour attendance I've ever had. Today's Q&A will be a little bit different because I'll answer questions about today's lecture, but then I'll also go over some example problems involving environment diagrams and lists because somebody requested that last time and it seems like a reasonable thing to do. You should attend or watch discussion this week because it's a useful way to learn about the scheme programming language, which you have to learn in order to solve lab and homework this week and next week. I'm not going to lecture more about scheme except for in the optional topics, but there are some features of scheme that are only covered in the lab and discussion sections. So you should certainly attend those this week or watch the video. That's a great way to prepare yourself to finish lab and homework. However, we no longer take attendance in discussion. All students will receive discussion attendance credit for the remaining weeks of the semester, which affects your participation score. Basically, if you've been showing up to stuff before everything went online, then you'll get full credit and maximum recovery points on exams as if you had kept attending, even if you don't attend. And as a reminder, some lecture content has been marked as optional, meaning that it won't appear in lab discussion homework projects or exams. What do I mean by don't appear? Well, for example, today's topic is optional. It's about exceptions. Some of the starter code for Project 4, which is coming out next week, does involve features of Python that are covered in today's lecture. But you don't have to write any of that code. And you don't really have to understand it either in order to complete the project. So, if you want, you can ignore the content of this lecture and still do fine in the course. However, exceptions are pretty important. There's something you've got to learn about at some point, so you might as well learn about them now. So I would recommend watching the whole lecture. And as a bonus, I've included a slide at the end that is a review problem about environment diagrams, and those will be on the final exam. So, I hope you watched the lecture, but you won't have to learn how to solve problems using exceptions, though I think it's quite helpful that you learn what they are. Okay, here we go.